This is uh, going to be the fourth part of section 2.2, 2.2D. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to apply finding derivatives a little bit. We're going to be finding slope of a tangent line. So let's real briefly review. We have talked about this. It says a derivative represents the slope of a graph at any given point. We've talked about that. So when you find a derivative of a function, what you're really doing is you're finding the slope of that function at a, certain, at a given point. So this can also be said as the slope of the tangent line to the graph at a given point. So what it means is, is that when we find a derivative, we're not finding a tangent line. What we're doing is we're actually finding the slope of the tangent line at that point. For example, when you look at this curve right here, this is x to the fourth power. That's our function. If you look at these two points here, you can see these little blue lines coming off of that. Those are what we call tangent lines. So the tangent line is touching at this exact point of x equals negative 1. What the derivative is, the derivative is not the equation of this line. The derivative is going to help us find what the slope of this line is. So that's what we're going to be doing here. And you can notice that when we come over here, you see that this tangent line, these two tangent lines are going to have two different slopes. And that's expected when we find a derivative. All curves are going to have different slopes at different points on, their, on the curve. So we need to make sure that we understand and, different, and we can uh, understand the difference between finding the slope of a tangent line and then what we're going to do in the next section, which is find the equation of the tangent line. So what we'll first do when we do any problem is if I want to find the slope of a graph at any given point, I have to first find the derivative. So the derivative of this function is just simply 4x to the third using our power rule. So what this means is this is our derivative. So if I now wanted to find the slope of the graph, slope and derivative mean the exact same thing. So if I say I want to find the slope at a given point, that means I want to find the derivative at a given point. It means the exact same thing. So what happens is, is because we know the derivative is the slope, all we simply need to do is plug each of these values into our derivative to get the different slopes. Okay, so the slope at x equals 1 will be 4 times 1 to the third power, which is equal to 4. So the slope at x equals 1 is going to be 4. Okay, because f prime of 4 equals, or sorry, f prime of 1 equals 4. And again, what we're doing here is we're plugging values into our derivative function. So what does f prime of 1 mean? It means that we're plugging 1 in for the x value of our derivative. So we got f prime of 1 equals 4. So that means the slope at x equals 1 of this function is equal to 4. So now we do x equals 2. So then we do f prime of 2 equals 4 times 2 to the third power. So 2 to the third power is 8. 8 times 4 is 32. So f prime of 2 is equal to 32. That means that at x equals 2, the slope of our function is 32. And then we can plug in x equals 0, and we get f prime of 0 equals 4 times 0 to the third power and we will see that we have f prime of 0 is equal to 0, which means that our slope at x equals 0 is 0. Okay, So we have a, a couple things that we talked about here. It's one, we know we're still finding the derivative, but one, it's being able to relate that a derivative is just the slope of a given curve. So if I find the derivative of x to the fourth, that means that the derivative of this will be the slope at any given point on our graph have to remember that, have to know that, we have to understand the idea that derivative means slope. Derivative means slope of a tangent line. So once we find a derivative, we can then plug any x value we want into that derivative, and that will tell us what the slope is at that given point. So down here you have one to do on your own. Try that, find the derivative, uh, plug in your value, substitute your value in so you can find the slope at x equals 1, and then hit play when you're ready. All right, so here we are on this problem. We have uh, our function is 3x squared minus 1 over x plus square root of x. Remember, the first thing that I do is rewrite it so everything's in power form. So we have 3x squared minus x to the negative 1 plus x to the 1 half. Then I take the derivative. So my derivative ended up being 6x plus 1 over x squared 
plus 1 over 2 times the square root of x. Then, because this is our derivative, remember that's our slope at any given point, they give us the point. So what we're doing is we're plugging that point into our derivative to figure out what is our slope at x equals 1. By plugging the value all the way through, we get 7.5. So therefore, the slope at x equals 1 is 7.5. Uh, again, that's it for this section. Uh, we'll get into more detail about tangent lines in the next portion of it. Uh, so don't forget to take your Edmodo quiz if that's been assigned, and uh, I'll see you in class.